guys it's rick and it's april so this is my first pick of the month and i wanted an epic for my first pick because it just seemed fitting i wanted to really something that was just gonna stand out and my pick was the ten commandments i mean a breathtaking movie that is just i mean it doesn't get any bigger than this um, I was hoping to watch it all in one night and I just got too tired so I stopped it at the intermission and finished it here on Easter which is a very fitting thing to do I mean it this is a fantastic film from let's see I think it was 1959 no excuse me 1956 and um, I'm put out by Paramount with Charlton Heston Yul Brynner um so many other great names that but the thing about me is just watching those background characters in this and seeing the people that picked up you know you've got Edward G. Robinson in here Vincent Price who has a small role in the film John Carradine Onslaught Stevens has a small role a lot of actors and actresses at Yvonne DeCaro who was uh, mainly known for Lily from the Munsters but I mean who's was incredibly beautiful in this movie I mean just so many great actors and actresses and, and I mean one of the largest casts ever assembled I mean all the extras and the work on into the the set design I mean it's just an, an one of the most beautiful films breathtaking films you're ever going to see um, and the special effects I mean are, are probably the highlight and actually, that was the only Academy Award it ever won, was for special effects, and so well-deserving. I know the parting of the sea, the famous image of that, um, watching it again, knowing it was coming, I mean, I just, it, it, I was washed over with a lot of emotion because of how powerful it is, and seeing it on this, 4k disc and how beautiful that they they did on the transfers it just absolutely was phenomenal uh, it's one of those movies that you watch every year probably around easter this maybe been her um passion of the christ if you like that but i mean they this is one of those that they just don't make them like this anymore we don't have a cast like this anymore. Actors and actresses that just stand out. They're like, I know him, and I know him, and I know him. And I think, for me, the shining moment had to be Yul Brenner. Yul Brenner's character in here of Ramesses was just amazing, his performance. And it's a shame that it didn't get the nominations for the ask. I mean, it, it got all the technical stuff nominated, but only one of that special effects, like I mentioned. But, I mean, costumes and all that. But, I mean, they tried getting, um, you know, at least supporting actress roles out of this. And it, for some reason, it just wasn't. I think part of it has to do with Cecil B. DeMille the year before winning the Oscar for the uh, Greatest Show on Earth. Which is also a really good movie if you haven't seen it a favorite that I I need to get here on Blu-ray soon but uh, this is a, like I said I wanted something epic to really show my love of classic films and um, I'm glad to uh, to watch this again and um, share share it with my fellow grumps who uh Um, that love classic movies probably more so than I do uh, I mean I but I uh, I just wanted something that would be impactful and uh, a movie that you know we're not always going to agree on the movies we watch but I don't think there's a person out there that would dislike this film I mean it, it, it's it's an epic for a reason I mean it's universally loved and, and just absolutely stunning to, to behold. And I also love the fact that it's one of the few films to ever 
knock Gone with the Wind off the top spot. Which Gone with the Wind is a good movie, but this is much better. For one year, it held that spot until Gone with the Wind was re-released. But, uh, alright guys, that's it. I mean, the Ten Commandments. Alright. Hope, hope everybody enjoyed the video, and uh, thank you for watching.